Hello again YouTube, it's Wireless and Clinton, and before I get into the nitty gritty of making videos about particular aspects of the Surface Pro 3, I thought I'd give you an overall review of what I think of it so far. I've had it for a couple months now, and I've been working things in, and I've been using it a lot, and here are my initial impressions. I love it. Um, the form factor doesn't bother me at all. I read some reviews that, oh, it's bigger than a tablet and it's hard to hold. And although it's true that it's bigger than a tablet, I think it hits the sweet spot in between laptop and, um, and tablet pretty well. Larger laptops have better real estate. The smaller tablets are much better in your hands. I actually bought a 7-inch tablet in order to test out what a Windows tablet would be like in my classroom, and I love the 7-inch, but when it gets down to the nitty-gritty of working with documents and doing desktop applications, I think the Surface Pro just hits it right in the sweet spot, so that is excellent. Perhaps one of my favorite things about the Surface Pro 3 is the Entrig pen. I believe I called this a Wacom pen earlier, and they have moved on to the Entrig system, but this thing is awesome, and I love to use it. It's already streamlined my workflow quite a bit. My recent workflow for doing PDF forms is someone from the main office would send me something that I have to fill out. I would have to download that from my email, print it out to a network printer, which was halfway across the building for me, um, walk over, get it from the printer. Sometimes they didn't show up at the printer, so I'd walk all the way across the building, come back to my printer, or come back to my computer, go back to the printer. Um, when I finally got the document, I bring it back to my office, because a lot of times I'd have to fill it out, and I wouldn't have a lot of time. There is no time in between classes, so basically I run and pick it up, fill it out in between. Um, when I finally got it filled out, I'd have to go to the main office, put it in an inner office mail envelope, and send it to wherever it needed to go. This was quite a big process. The whole process of download, ink, flatten email is so quick and easy. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This pen has changed my life. Another thing I heard of in the Windows 8 environment was the whole start menu and the modern look of it. I grew to like it rather quickly. I like the fact that I can manipulate the size of the tiles. I like the live tile idea. I love the fact that I can rearrange it, although I am stuck in the grid, which kind of annoys me. But what that does is it leaves my desktop free for in-process documents and I can still use my desktop to like drag and drop a document, work on it, save it to where I need to do, email it, and I can use my desktop to actually manipulate documents. But the start menu keeps all of those pro icons off of my desktop and gives me more space on my desktop. Another huge bonus of the Windows Surface Pro 3 is the split screen in Windows and I use this all the time. I can't tell you how this smooths out the workflow in so many different ways. When I purchased the Surface Pro 3 I decided to go with a keyboard cover and I did not think I would use it too much. I thought I would get a desktop Bluetooth keyboard and I would use that at school on my on the places where I have different desks and I wouldn't use the keyboard cover as much. Turns out I really like the keyboard cover. The key feel is very nice. Um, I have a lot of auditory hang-ups with different keyboards and the snap 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 of the keys tends to really annoy me and the thub 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 of these particular keys is quite nice. Feels very good. I'm sold. I use it all the time. I don't need an external keyboard at all. I did buy a Logitech ultra thin touch mouse though and I find that this mouse is beautiful. I love using it. It feels great. Um, it's a touch mouse so you can use multi-touch on the top of it. It's very small, it fits in my bag, and it feels great under my hand. I imagine if you were someone who had your hand on a mouse all day long that it's too small and it doesn't support your hand and that would be a problem for you, but for me I love it. There's just certain things I want to use a mouse for. The touchpad on the keyboard on, or on the keyboard cover is really excellent, but I just love to use the Logitech mouse. It's a thumbs up goodbye on my part. I've also accumulated a lot of USB 3 periphery, a couple hubs, and a couple, or a couple connections, and some other things to use from desk to desk in places where I need to um, use my Surface as a desktop more. And this is, the whole reason for this is so that I can just grab my Surface and go and I don't have to unpack cables and power connectors and everything else. I can just grab the Surface and go and I still have things that I need at my different desks.
my school doesn't have Wi-Fi in a lot of the places that I work, and I'm actually not allowed to use the school network Wi-Fi with my Surface Pro. So I've had to find, find a workaround. And one of the things that I'm doing at places where I'll be at my desk most is I found an awesome USB hub by Inatech that has what they call a magic port. Magic port is a USB hub but it has one particular USB connection that has a processor in it where you can plug and play connect your Surface or any computer to another computer via USB to USB. Um, I found that this is great for dragging and dropping and you can actually use both computers almost like a dual monitor system except each monitor is their own machine but you can drag and drop seamlessly from one to another which allows me to access the network and the network drive for things that I need for school and I can just drag and drop it across to my surface. It allows me to print using network printers because I can just drag and drop as long as I use the same um, the same program for both computers as long as I have that program on my desktop computer at school I can use the network printers which was a huge thing about not being able to use the network with my surface how am I going to be able to print and it's a pretty suitable workaround it doesn't allow me to keep everything in sync so I'm still searching for other workarounds but it is a pretty pretty good way to go just to make things work and it's a ton better than USB thumb drives all the time. I don't lose things as much and I can just drag things back and forth. There are a few issues with this workaround. Most glaringly that I have to go and buy more hardware out of pocket. I'm also tethered back to my desk which negates a lot of the benefits of having a tablet. And I still can't use the internet directly on my tablet. I can use the internet on the desktop. I can use the mouse and the keyboard of my tablet and transfer it back and forth from screen to screen. So if I need something from the internet I can download it and then drag it to my surface, but I can't use the internet directly, which is a definite downer. But it solves a few of the issues doing this workaround and I'm satisfied with it for now. I'll keep looking. I have lots of plans for this machine and the ways that I'm going to use it, and I'm sure by the end of the summer I'll have come up with lots of extra ones. One of the coolest is a device called a Miracast receiver. I bought, with the grant, two Action Tech, Action Tech screen beam Miracast receivers, and what they do is I can actually mirror my screen wirelessly, kind of like Bluetooth, but for video from my surface to the receiver and then I can send that in the two rooms that I teach in that have projectors to the projector and to the sound system. Um, I've tested this a small amount and it works very very well and I will be testing how to use this and how to most effectively use it throughout the summer so that I'm ready to go for the school year. I did for this Mirrorcast receiver end up buying some more things out of pocket in order to make things more seamless for the other teachers that have to use the room. In some of my rooms I share with as many as four people throughout the day so I can't reconfigure everything to my purposes and then just leave it and have them scramble. So I need to be able to grab my surface and go and still have them be able to use what's there in whatever way they can without having to reconfigure things and plug things in and out. So I did buy an HDMI to VGA converter for each of the rooms that have projectors. I have two rooms that have projectors because the Action Tech is only HDMI out. And then I also bought VGA splitters so that I can have one button that's Clinton and one button that's other teachers and they just need to hit that button if I forget and they can go back to using the VGA without having to unplug anything. I did buy two little audio mixers also so that they won't have to plug and unplug audio and it'll mix the signals together. I'm sure I'll do a more in-depth video on Meerkast and the way that I use it and the audio and Bluetooth in the future, so stay tuned for that. Overall, I love this work-inducing machine. And while it's not perfect, I would strongly recommend it. I can do so much more schoolwork and so much more work more easily with it than I could with my iPad. At home in my recliner at night, when I'm surfing the web, I use my iPad. But for work, it's the Surface Pro 3, and I'm loving it so far.